In this video, we are going to be going through how to do this sheet, which continues on to this sheet. So, for this work, we have a ionic uh, chemical name. From that, we need to get our element or cation and our element or anion. So, our cation from lithium nitrate is lithium. So we have Li, it is, has a charge of plus one. Our anion, our, eh, our anion is nitrate. Nitrate has a formula of NO3 and it has a charge of minus one. You may want to make sure you have your periodic table and your common polyatomic ion sheet available to do this. From here, we can get our chemical formula, which is just going to be LiNO3, because we have a plus one and a minus one ion. Next, we have sodium sulfate. Sodium ion is our cat ion, is Na, it has a charge of plus one. Then we have sulfate. Sulfate is a polyatomic ion with a formula of SO4. It then has a charge of minus two. So when we go and put together our positive cat ion and our negative anion, that is going to give us the formula of Na. 2SO4. We need to have a 2 with the sodium because sodium has a plus 1 charge and the sulfate has a minus 2 charge. Last example we have has potassium phosphate. Our cation is always going to be listed first. So potassium is again our cation. So it is K, it again has a charge of plus one. All of these happen to be alkali metals. Next we have phosphate. Phosphate is again a polyatomic ion. It is PO4 minus three. So this phosphate has a negative three charge, potassium has a positive one charge, so we are going to need three potassiums to balance out the charge of a phosphate. We are now going to take a look at the bottom part of this sheet where we are given a chemical formula and we need to have a name for it. So to do this you are going to want to have a periodic table and a polyatomic ion sheet handy. We have Ba, which is barium. We have barium, and we have CO3 is a polyatomic ion that is carbonate. Again, we are going to have a metal cation and a polyatomic anion. So we have strontium, and then we have acetate. For our last one, we again have a metal cation and a non-metal polyatomic anion. So we have sodium sodium hydroxide. That's all for this video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Have a good day.